Hello, I'm Emily Lerm. I'm a hairdressing lecturer at Worcester College of Technology. Um, what I'm going to do now is demonstrate several tests that you need to do prior to chemical treatments with your clients. The first one we're going to look at is porosity test. To do this, you use your thumb and your forefinger and you take a strand of hair and running your fingers from the hair end to the scalp, you need to feel how the cuticle li layer lies. Good porosity means the cuticle layer is slightly raised from the hair shaft. This means the hair can absorb moisture and chemicals really easily in an average amount of time. Porous hair, when you feel the hair, it will feel quite rough and dry. You have to be careful with porous hair of what processes that you can and can't do and the processing times will inevitably be shorter. You may choose to use a semi-permanent colour rather than permanent, a high lift tint rather than a bleach or an acid perm rather than an alkaline perm. Over porous hair is visibly dry and damaged. You shouldn't colour it, you shouldn't perm it. It has to be removed by reconditioning treatments or cutting. The other type of hair that you can test for is poor porosity. Now with poor porosity the hair will feel very smooth and that is because the cuticle layers are hard and dense and it makes the hair resistant to absorb moisture and chemicals. So you would have to use a specially formulated colour for resistant hair and especially um, a special perm lotion, probably an alkaline perm lotion for resistant hair. The next test I'm going to show you is an elasticity test. Now for this, you need to take one strand of hair. I'm going to pull it out. Okay. You hold it between your thumb and forefinger again. And you gently stretch the hair. If it has good elasticity, it will stretch up to 20% of its length. If it breaks under slight strain, it has poor elasticity, which means the hair is lacking strength and it may not be advisable to use any chemical treatments. Okay. The next test I'm going to do is an incompatibility test. Now, you will do this prior to colouring the reason we do an incompatibility test is to make sure that your client has no metallic salts on their hair. Metallic colour is not compatible with professional oxidation products. So for this test we need to take a cutting of hair. To take a cutting you use your scissors and you slide down the hair shaft so you haven't got a visible cut. You then need to bind the hair together so I'm going to do that with a little piece of sellotape. And in this bowl I have got 30 millilitres of 20 volume peroxide, that's 6%, and I've got 20 drops of ammonia. What I need to do is immerse the hair for 30 minutes in this solution. Okay. Bad effects for the incompatibility test is immediate lightening of the hair or lightening in areas or the hair will start to boil and it will pull apart easily. After 30 minutes you remove the hair from the solution, towel dry it and examine the strand. The final test I'm going to demonstrate is a skin test. To do a skin test, you need to have a consultation with your client and decide what colour you're going to be using and you use that exact colour for the skin test. The skin test is done to make sure that your client has no serious allergic reaction to the colour that you're going to apply. So what I've done is I've taken a small amount of the colour that we're going to use, put it on the end of a cotton bud and I'm going to apply this behind my client's ear. 
You need to follow manufacturer's instructions. Occasionally, a manufacturer would like you to mix the colour with the peroxide before you do the skin test. And some salons prefer you to skin test in the crease of the arm, but we usually do it behind the ear. So you're looking at this little bit of skin here, and you apply the colour. Now that skin test needs to be left for 24 to 48 hours. So your client can remove the patch test and leave the area undisturbed for that amount of time. As long as she doesn't encounter any redness, swelling, burning, blistering or itchiness, then it's safe to colour and she should not have an allergic reaction. What you need to do is record the results on your client card for reference that you've done the skin test.